<laughs> so, the cover, uh, Smile. What made you do it? I basically... With the lovely eyebrow with movement, with obviously. Lovely obviously. Can't, these slugs, uh, they, <laughs> they do their magic, man. Um, yeah, no, it was uh, just one of those things. I've always loved Nat King Cole. Um, someone I really look up to is uh, Paolo Nutini. I find that his music is really great and uh, it inspires me a lot but one thing that I love about him is he does a cover really well and he likes to try and make something his own uh, I'm not saying compare myself to him but I'd like to take inspiration from that and try, try my version you know. Who videoed it? It was Aidan Gapka uh, It was my, really well done I you know he, Really quite he, personal uh, It was he got, he got right up in my yeah, face yeah. his camera um, uh, You know it's, it's great having a flatmate with a fancy gimbal and a nice uh, camera and stuff uh, also, he quite likes what I do as well, so that helps. Um, so, yeah, no, um, big thanks to him. He's done a couple of my videos now. In fact, I think every video I've got on like, TikTok or Instagram is, is uh, recorded by him. Uh, he's, he's, he's just been kind of essential for me getting myself out there as well, because I wouldn't know the first thing about how to set up a shot or, or film anything that looks nice like this. You know? um, so, yeah, that's, that's, he's, the, he's the mastermind behind it. Awesome, awesome. For like, you, you're an upcoming artist, you've just started, you're getting into the industry, from today it resonate, and just for, you know, networking and whatnot, has it inspired you? Oh, definitely, yeah, I think these kinds of days, I've never really immersed myself in a, anything like this, um, and it's been quite surreal just getting the chance to play, you know, um, being asked to play on the acoustic stage, um, it's just, it's been a really nice experience for me, uh, getting myself out there a wee bit more, but also speaking to folk that know how I can do it in a, in, in a maybe more efficient way, I guess. Um, so yeah, it, it's, been, it's been really, really um, good for confidence and just general sort of uh, productivity, I think. Uh, that's, uh, I don't know, I, I've been sleeping on it a wee bit and this year has been a really great year in general. And this has just been the step up kind of in terms of who I'm sort of around and what I'm what I'm doing and uh, who I'm talking to and stuff. So it, it's been good. Yeah. Awesome. So it's coming to the end of 2023. You've been to Resonate. You're brought out a single. You've done this incredible video. What is next for the lovely eyebrowed Roddy Johnson? Well, I would say the eyebrows are staying in 2024, <laughs> uh, and I'd probably I, I think the next year. I'm getting mentoring through this as well, um, which... Goodbye. Uh, so I'm, I'm not sure, I, I'll name drop Rosie, but it might not be her. Um, shout out to Rosie. Shout out to shout out to she's right there. Yeah. Shout out to Rosie. Rosie there. Um, because I, like, I'm just really um, grateful and excited for the fact that I'm getting that opportunity as well. So it doesn't, it doesn't stop here for the, the Resonate influence as well. And just in general for me going forward, It'll help me be a bit more calculated. So the next plan is uh, is a, a really brilliant musician that I, I looked up to a lot and reached out to on a limb. Called, his name's Cathal or Cahill Murphy. Uh, I, I switched between the two. Um, he's a, an Irish musician. He's touring at the moment. He's a brilliant, brilliant musician. And we're recording uh, a couple of my songs at the moment. So um, that's, ne that's what's next anyway. Uh, and hopefully with this mentoring, I'll be able to do a wee bit more promo. I've been doing some soft launches on uh, you know, Spotify and stuff and just getting a bit more confident with it. Um, so yeah, it, it's nice finding my feet when I'm surrounded by people that have found their feet or can help me do that. Um, it's been quite an, a sort of rewarding experience for me just being here. Awesome. So, your first single, Wonderland, how did that come about? Uh, it's a very, very long story, probably quite boring if I went from top to tail of it, but uh, it started about five, six years ago. Uh, I, uh, me and my friend Duncan, we were hungover one day, uh, he got these two chords on his guitar and we had this sort of moment where we decided, we both had this same wavelength moment. I don't think we got in the same wavelength again for five years. Uh, he, he moved to Australia. I stayed in Scotland, obviously, uh, and it just became the time zones and me being a student, him being a bit of a flake as well. Actually, I shouldn't say that. Duncan, you're not a flake. I was a flake. I was the reason that went wrong. But um, yeah, it just took so long to do, uh, and uh, but it was worth it because the actual outcome of what we had was so much better than I could have imagined. And, and that day when we were, 
you know, sat in the flat, just sort of messing about with some guitars. It, it was that was when it all sparked off. But after a lot of growing from me, I, I studied at Glasgow Calvin College, um, and I learned a lot from that course, um, and just essentially kind of came out of it. Uh, and approach this more head on. It was, it was very casual up until then. But uh, the song, just all the production uh, credit. It's a lovely song. Uh, it, it, it's really, really done very nicely. Uh, I, I can only really take credit for the, the vocals I can take credit for. I, I, I'll own that, but um, really the, the structure I helped a wee bit with, but Duncan McLean is a genius. He's a um, Rua is what he's called in uh, Spotify. And I, I, he just, his vision for the song, was something I was quite happy to adapt with and work with, and and I really enjoyed making it with him. Uh, we, we, we've said as well, like hopefully for a few songs, I'm hopefully going to get an EP out sort of in springtime next year, and um, he's he's agreed to work with me on that as well. Uh, we've been mates for much longer than six years. I, I love him a lot, and so it's been great having this sort of experience um, with him. He's the first person I ever recorded with as well. So um, yeah, real real good pal, but also. He's a, he's a good friend to have as well, you know. So, yeah, that's it. Awesome. Roddy. No worries. Cheers. Lovely Cheers. to meet you. All the best to you, honestly, man. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs>